Someone's gonna put a bullseye on your head if our team leaves, lady. Don't think you haven't had private investigators following you around for the last two years. You're all going to pay if you don't stay out of Glendale's business. You are all going to die. A few years ago, to keep the hockey team located in the city of Glendale, the National Hockey League and a handful of politicians wanted to do a backroom deal that was gonna cost taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars, and we couldn't let it stand. We talked to the NHL and we talked to the buyers and the city and we said, if you go through with this deal, we're not gonna have any choice but to sue you to protect the constitution of this state and to protect the rights of the people. Most people were very much in favor of what we were doing. They understood that there were constitutional rights at stake. They also knew that the National Hockey League had money of its own, and if they wanted the team there, they should be paying for it, not a few hundred thousand people in this small town. But not everyone agreed with that. Uh, and that's, that's when the trouble began. People were threatening to sue us. Senator McCain took to the airwaves to decry us. For those people who opposed it, they very much opposed it, and they were vocal and they became violent. We had just never seen the kind of anger and hate boiling up and coming at us. It was about six o'clock in the morning and I was carrying my little baby with her bottle and I opened up the front door to take her and where we would watch the sunrise and um, I stepped out into a puddle of blood. There was blood and innards just strewn everywhere and the head of a rabbit at my feet. And then of course I realize someone has done this on purpose. The only way that someone could have found me in that house would be to have been following me from the Goldwater Institute back to my home. That someone felt that they needed to resort to violence at my home and possibly put my family at risk um, was very, very angry. You know, sure, we, we dealt with a lot, but at the end of the day, the deal was foiled. Taxpayers didn't have to foot the bill. The NHL had to take care of its own bills and freedom prevailed. I walked away from this experience with a greater appreciation of the importance of being anonymous, of having your information be private. It is perfectly reasonable to want to have your privacy protected and not to have to go through the things that I went through or my colleagues or people who have had it much worse. You know, I was happy to bear the brunt of all that anger. Now imagine the 5,000 supporters we had if all of their addresses had been public. Do you think the people who were making death threats would have stopped with me? They can already dialogue, they can already talk, everybody can speak freely, you can make your opinions known. So the only reason to have someone's personal address and information is to intimidate. And that will silence speech, and that is the foundation of everything we believe in in this country. Nobody has a right to know where I spend my money or what I believe unless I choose to share it. That's what freedom is.